I'm bass player Alison Rayner. And I'm guitarist Deirdre Cartwright. And together we started Blow the Shoes Jazz Club about 31 years ago. 1989. And this year, 2020, we won Services to Jazz in the Parliamentary Jazz Awards, which was wonderful. And then from all that wonderfulness, unfortunately, 2020 also brought in a lockdown. And, uh, but amazingly, we've managed to create this series uh, where we've had such a great time working with all these wonderful musicians. A complete pleasure. It's made us feel a great deal better. So we just hope that you will continue to join us for Blow, Blow the, the Fuse, Fuse on Air. air. Sweet, call me Valentine. You make me smile with my heart, and your looks are laughable. They're unphotographable. Yet you're my favorite work of art. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, I you smile, but. Not if you care for me Stay little Valentine, please stay Cause every day is Valentine's Day This one's going to feature um, Deirdre on this next one. It's a uh, beautiful blues. It's uh, called Nobody's Fault But Mine. Mm -hmm. 
Nobody's fault but mine Nobody's fault but mine And if I die on my soul is lost Ain't nobody's fault but mine Yeah, mine Mama, oh, she could sing. I had a mother, she could sing. And if I die, my soul is lost. And nobody's for but This is a song by Lou Reed, and uh, we're going to we'll start by we all singing along. We've had such a good time doing this. So um, if you're watching at home, please, there's two harmonies. There's two, just the two for this song. Not that I'm normally that bossy. That's one, and then pick your harmony, get your twiglets out, and start singing. Thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, this song um, I did on an album I called Seaside, and uh, which is a really daft name for an album when you've got a lisp like I have. So um, we were, and I, and it, so it was all about things seaside because Joe Joe Stilgo wrote me a song, or we wrote a song called Seaside, and I decided to do it. Hence, um, doing a whole album about growing up in Hastings, um, which is where I live. And I wanted to add this song, but it had nothing to do with it. So I used a bit of artistic license to call it almost like being in Hove. What a day this has been, what a rare mood I'm in. Oh, why it's almost like being in love. There's a smile on my face for the whole human race. It's almost like being in love. All the music of life seems to be like a bell. I swear I was falling. I swear I was falling. I swear I was falling. I'm not beating love. 
steeple High as a mountain in deep Best of ever come rain or shine When you met me, it was just one of those things. But don't you ever bet me, cause I'm gonna be true. If you let it get me, oh, you're gonna love me like nobody's love me, cause rain or gonna shine. What's it all about, Alfie? Is it just for the moment we live? What's it all about when you sort it out, Alfie? Are we meant to take more than we give? And if only fools the kind I'll feed, well, I guess it is wise to be cruel. And if life belongs only to the strong, I'll feed. Why There's a heaven above our feet yeah. I really do believe Something even non-believers can believe in Cause I believe Love, we just exist, Alfie. Without love that you have missed, you're nothing, Alfie. When you walk, let your heart lead the way. Let 
let your heart lead the way And you'll find love any day I'll feel I'll feel We've had a wonderful evening playing with Leanne Carroll. And uh, so it's my pleasure now to be able to ask her questions. So I was thinking that uh, something I'd like to know, and I think other people would like to, is to just know a little bit about your background, what got you into music, singing. Mm. Yes. Well, I, I used to sing a lot um, at home. My mum was a singer and my dad was a singer. And um, they did it semi-professionally. <clears throat> My mum used to sing with the Ken Macintosh big band in the 50s. And uh, so uh, that was lovely. So I was, I, was, I was encouraged from a very early age to make a lot of racket. And we, I used to have piano lessons because I... I used to go we, with my mum and nan and granddad because my mum and dad split up. With my mum and nan and granddad, we used to go up to chapels in London because we lived in Coshalton then and then down to Hastings and seeing the pianos and I'm like, oh, like that. And I must have been quite young because I started having piano lessons from a dragon, she was, uh, Mrs. Phyllis Catlin, long dead now. Um, and she used to have a pair of scissors on, d on the edge of the... <laughs> it's not as dangerous as it sounds. And she threatened to cut an inch off my hair. And so I used to go to, to my piano lessons with like a beret on with my hair all tapped up. And my mum said, what are you doing? I'm nothing. And she found out what she did. She went over there and sorted her out, you know, said, right, she's, that was the end of those lessons. Um, but the rest of it was happy. And then we got a piano when I was about six. Um, in, and I came downstairs, and I think it was on my birthday, and it had all the candelabra on it, you know, those old-fashioned ones. And it warped because my nan put it in what she called the conservatory, but it was actually just a lean-to at the back of the house. The, so uh, with plastic on it, so the, the thing warped like a Goya painting, and um, it was out of tune all the time. So we had Dennis, the blind piano tuner, who used to come and tune it. And my name fancied him, so that's <laughs> she used to get him. But it was just a loud, noisy household, and yeah, I'm really grateful for that. We were all, you know, I was always um, con sort of encouraged. I was never pushed, always encouraged. And, and I think that's what's given me the basics. And I'd say, like, oh, should we go and have a sing or listen to the musicals? And, and also, I think having all sorts of music going on at the same time, you know, mm. is, is lovely. I was never sort of brought up with one genre, although jazz and big bands hit me really hard. Yes, it, it, interesting you mentioned that, because that's one of the things about you. you f to me, anyway, you're an amazing improviser. You. You're a great jazz singer, but you still seem to have... You have I think a lot of roots, and I can hear we can hear it in your singing and the choice of material. It's yeah. you go for bluesy things, more rocky things sometimes. I wonder yeah. how did all that come about? Hopefully, I, I mean, I'd like to say organically, <laughs> I, I think it is. I, I've never really sat down and thought, right, what would people like now? What would be obviously when you're sorting a gig out, and you, you know, and I started gigging when I was about 15, 16, and you work out, you say, oh, I don't want to do too many ballads, so there's that mm. element. But I've, yeah, I've, I've been a bit of a, is it a magpie that steals? Mm. Just, just little snippets of love from each genre of music that's moved me. And I haven't really cared about the genres. You know, a lot of people do. So, you know, I, I didn't. Do you have any um, particular influences? I mean, vocally yeah. or piano or, in fact, any instruments? Vic Damone was the first singer that I remember, that, that I ever heard. It was Falling in Love with Love with the Count Basie big band. And it's got this sort of bleeding with all just congas, like it feels like a whole line of congas, or I, th I imagined. And then this cascading trumpets, and I like wallop. That's what I want to be in the middle of. That's what I. That's what I would be. And you know, I've been so lucky to do that. Like, and like tonight, that was so good playing with you guys. It was lovely because we put some blues stuff in. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, oh, right, we better do a blues. I just like I. There's some. I mean, Tom Waits, Laura Nero is my biggest, earliest influence. Mm -hmm. um, I never got to see her live. But I used to skive off school to listen to her albums. Mm. Yeah. I think I remember you... You we, Did you do a proms gig with a big band? Yeah, with the National Youth Jazz Orchestra That's of Scotland. It. I saw... Uh, was it a few years ago? It, at, was, at it, it was 1916. It was, <laughs> it was 2016. And it was... A, it was... Yes. 
we had to look out for um, flighty then in those. Um, <laughs> no, so I've been watching Downton Abbey, so my brain's <laughs> gone down a century. Um, anything in lockdown? No, it, we did it in 2016. It was a month after my darling mum had passed away, and that that was the one gig she wanted to sort of stay alive long, oh. long enough for. Never made it, but I wore. I wore her like a coat on that stage and that big band, Malcolm Edmonston and Andrew Bain and what amazing musicians they are. People say, well, they're the musicians of tomorrow. I said, no, they're today, they're doing it now. They're playing it now, you know, and, and they've got respect for the song, humility about it all. And they encourage each other. You can see them going along at the trump. It was a beautiful experience. It's not bad doing it at the old Royal Albert Hall. Wonderful. That's right. the Royal Albert Hall Cafe in Nottingham. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that you've you well, you will have played. I mean, you've obviously played all over the place. I wondered if there are any particular wonderful, I don't know, experiences, wonderful gigs, festivals, places you visit, anything you'd like to recall. If I now that I'm sober, it's take it's, you know, I was a long time not, and now I am. I don't mind sharing that. I'm going to collate together a list of what I've done. Because I couldn't remember it before, but luckily I've got a wonderful husband who I've been with for 34 years who can sort of, he's wrote, written stuff down. I said, don't you remember you played at the Lincoln Centre? I said, oh. did I? But wow. my favourite, fav it's not really the place, it's the people. I know that does, sounds a bit corny, but I, I mean it. Like, wherever, if you're playing with a group of people, you could be in your next door's garage having the best time. So for me... I've never been as ambitious as I suppose I ought to have been, but I'm so happy with what I've done. Get to play with wonderful people, and it doesn't matter where. So there's a place in Hastings where I live called Porter's Wine Bar that I was resident pianist, singer, for 32 years. And this year is the first year I haven't done it, and I, oh. I miss it. Mm. I, even So on a Wednesday night, I've been doing these little stream gigs from my front room on Facebook. That's Facebook. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I've been, yeah, so that's nice. So it... it I'm not trying to sort of be de devil's advocate with my answer, but it's, a, it's more about the people. But I've played all over the world and I'm very lucky, very lucky. I wondered, I was interested to know any other, you mentioned um, some early influences, and I wonder if there's any particular singers you've really loved who have uh, oh, yes. otherwise, oh, you know, you mentioned Victor Moan. Victor Moan and, and, and Nina Simone. And all Laura the Nero, you meant. <laughs> all the most. <laughs> all the most. No. Laura Nero, yes. I mean, Sarah's my favourite singer, Sarah Vaughan. Right. My favourite living singer is Fiona Duncan. She's Scottish, she's in her 80s, and she's got phrasing that will just stop the waves. Um, there's a version of her doing Lady Be Good with Brian Kellogg on the piano, who's one of my favourite pianists as well. Um, the, I couldn't believe the, the amount of time she just takes in the phrasing going specifically and she's just my favorite and um there's so many people that i work with that i love and if i start mentioning them all then i'm going to have to miss people out and that's going to be a roll call so you know ian shaw and claire martin who i work with and i'm very lucky to work with you know, um, sophie bancroft and sarah coleman interesting you you mentioning phrasing because that i mean that's some that's one of the things i think i think and i think probably a lot of the musicians who work with you um, your phrasing is amazing. Is it? And it rhymes, that. My phrasing, phrasing is amazing. amazing. <laughs> no, is it? Oh, that's yeah. great. Gorgeous. I do, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and I, and I, mean, I, suppose I enjoyed it, it so much today, playing with you and playing with Winston. I haven't seen Winston for a while. And Deirdre. You know, it's just a joy. It's like the old days and playing in the wonderful yes. Vortex. You know, it's, it made me go a bit, quite a few shivery moments with just remembering. And it's going to get back to doing it eventually. But at the moment, we seem to be in a wilderness. And you, oh. brought, you brought such love to my wilderness. Thank you. Oh, well, you, you, you've done that for us today. Oh. We were absolutely thrilled that you would travel up and do this. Oh, no, I'm a bit emotional. It's lovely. Stop it. <laughs> you bring what, I, uh, for me and I think for the others playing today... You bring, um, I know, an incredible soul. You know, you bring the soul to the music, um, the, it, all the emotion. Absolutely wonderful. Um, we've had a fantastic time today playing with so you. Have Thank I. you, Leanne. Thank you, Alison. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you, Blow the Fuse. And uh, we hope um, you'll continue to watch our shows on Thursday nights. Can I Thursday just say thank you to Ali for on the sound for making oh, it so yes. beautiful? Thank you very much. <laughs> And uh, we will hopefully see you again for Blow the Fuse on Air.
And thank you once again to our wonderful guest tonight, Leanne Carroll. Bye-bye, be safe. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Can you tell me where my love, my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist where someone's waiting to be kissed? Oh, Skylark. Have you seen the valley green with spring Where my heart can go a journey in Over the shadows and the rain To a blossom-covered lane And in your lonely flight Haven't you heard in the night beautiful music faint as a will of the wish crazy as a loon and sad as a gypsy serenading the moon oh skylark I don't know can find these things But my heart is riding on your wings So if you see them anywhere Won't you leave me there And in your lonely flight Haven't you, haven't you, haven't you heard the music in the night Serenading the moon Oh, Skylark I don't know if you can find these things But my heart is riding on your wings So if you see them anywhere won't you lead me? Da do da do do da 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 do